action. So just really chaos on the water at this point. Danger. This is no game. We're here to do a real job. Adventure. I've been around the world twice and I've seen everything three times. You're listening to Sea Story. Episode 4, What's in the Box? My name is Machinist Mate Philip Michael Prona Jr. I'm from Sarasota, Florida, and this is my story. I was on the USS Enterprise. This was in 2001. We pulled into Naples, Italy, and the only part of Naples that we really experienced was walking. Me and my friends were Jack and Brian, and we were walking from Naples to the train station. And on our way there, we met a street vendor. There's a whole bunch of street vendors on the way to the train station. And on the way there, one of the guys, like, stopped us and everything. And uh, he pulled us to the side. He's like, come here, come here. He's like, I want to talk to you guys about some stuff. Nice. He starts showing us all these little different uh, electronic gadgets that he had. One in particular was a handheld video camcorder that was about the size of your hand, and he asked us if we wanted to buy it. Brian and I had our own camcorder, so we both declined. Jack, he didn't have one, so he was interested in it. Jack was looking at it, and the street vendor was like going through the whole camcorder process, showing him how it worked and all the perks of it and how great it was and everything like that. The guy told Jack that he wanted $200 for it. I was talking to Jack and I was like, we don't need it. I was like, I have a camcorder. I was like, Brian has a camcorder. I was like, there's no sense in you buying it right now because we don't know if you can get an adapter right now as far as it working in the U.S. when we get back home. So Jack kept on like talking to the guy about it and everything and the guy would go down. He's like, okay, 150, 150. I was like, no, I was like, we don't need it. I was like, we have two of them, we're fine. We started walking away and Jack was like, man, he's like, I really would like to buy it. And I was like, man, I was like, if you're going to buy it, I was like, I wouldn't pay any more than $50 for it. You're most likely not going to be able to use it in the U.S. So Jack goes back and we're sitting there talking to the guy and the guy's like, come on. He's like, I'll sell it to you for cheap. I'll sell it to you for really cheap. He's like, how much do you want to pay for it? And I was like, tell him $50. So Jack's like, we'll pay $50 for it. And the guy's like, no, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. So we're like, okay. So we decided we're going to walk away. We start walking away again, and the guy's like, okay, okay, okay. He's like, I'll sell it to you for $50. So we go back, and Jack gives the guy the $50. The guy goes to his moped, and he takes the camcorder, and he puts it in his little, uh, it's a little hip bag that he had. He puts it in the hip bag or whatever, and then he sticks it in like a, just like a little grocery bag. And when he gives it to us or whatever, it's all tied up and like secure and everything like that. And he's like, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. And we're like, okay. So we're walking back away and everything, and the guy gets on his moped and he starts driving down the road again. He's like, hey, he's like, what about this or whatever? And he shows us this little phone that's probably no bigger than two inches. And I was like, no, we don't need any phones or anything like that. We definitely can't use those. And he's like, okay, that's fine. He's like, "Uh, just don't tell anybody where you got that or anything. Where I was like, we're not going to tell anybody anything. So we continue on walking down to the train station. When we get there, we're waiting in line and everything. And Jack's all excited and everything, and he decides that he's going to start looking at his camcorder. So he goes and he starts trying to open the bag, and he can't open the bag because the guy had tied multiple knots in it, and it's like really securely fastened and everything. So I'm sitting there, and I help Jack, and we like finally get this bag open or whatever, and we pull out the little fanny pack that's in there. And I'm like feeling it. It feels weird and everything like that. <laughs> and... Uh, Jack's like sitting there looking and he like opens it up and it's two like boxes like there's stuffing over and there's two boxes or whatever and they're like brown boxes he's like the guy gave me two cameras I think he messed up and I'm like man let me see that so I took it I took it from him and when I took it from him I pulled one of the boxes out and it said iodized salt (laughs) what the so he spent fifty dollars on iodized salt from this guy in Naples and he was like so mad. He was like fuming. He's like, I'm gonna find that guy and everything. I was like, dude, you're never gonna find this guy again. I was like, don't worry about it or anything. After that, after we were done, we went and uh, got on the um, train because we were going to Rome. And the whole time, Jack was so mad, he was like fuming. And it ended up to where that, the way we had sat or whatever, Brian and I sat across from each other. And then there was a third seat where Jack sat. Before the train leaves, the person that sits across from him was a nun. He had to sit there and like for the rest of the ride and not say anything. And Brian and I were just laughing the whole time. It was just hilarious. (laughs) Because he was so mad that he had spent $50 on the salt. Ended up to where he threw the salt away or whatever. And I was like, man, I would have kept that. That's something you just keep. 
and you just keep forever. I would have kept that and put that on my mantle. On the next episode of Sea Story. Flares and there's searchlights and it's still dark and the winds are whipping, the seas are really heavy. Sea Story is brought to you by America's Navy. Learn more at Navy.com. Navy.com.